Hi guys, welcome to the pronunciation channel. My name is Mike Tatanen. Today I'm going to show you the use of the glottal stop for paralanguage. So the glottal stop refers to a situation in which you just close your vocal cords like this. Uh, like uh-uh, uh-oh, mm-mm. Uh, so the glottal stop involves uh, a state of the vocal cords. So the vocal cords are used for different things. They can be used for distinguishing certain sounds. So if you put your hand on your throat lightly and you say zzz or v, you feel that your vocal cords are vibrating. If on the other hand you'd say s or f, you feel that your vocal cords are not vibrating. Or you can do many other things with your vocal cords, like you can whisper. Okay, so there are a lot of things that you can do with your vocal cords. So when you just close your vocal cords, so they're kind of look like this, and you just close them momentarily, like uh or oh, uh, they can be used, for example, in making paralanguage. So paralanguage is a use of a meaningful use of a sound, but which is not a word. So um, one way of saying no casually is uh uh or mm mm. So you just momentarily close your vocal cords. Uh-uh, mm -mm. So that would be used in a situation for quickly and casually saying no. So let's say somebody was telling me a story about a time, for example, they went to Montreal. So let's say there's somebody telling me, well, I went to Montreal that weekend. I'm just like, you know, I had a great time. You know, have you been to Montreal? No, mm -mm. Okay, so I go, mm -mm. So just as a quick sort of way of contributing to the conversation to say no, okay? Um, you wouldn't use it for like a particularly serious situation. So if you're a witness in a trial or something like that. Uh, so if the judge asked you, uh, did you see the, did you see the crime? You would say, no, I didn't. You wouldn't say, mm -mm. that would be too casual. Okay. So, uh, uh, mm -mm. or it could also be used for the pair language use of, uh, indicating, uh, negative, uh, surprise. So you go, uh oh okay so let's say for example i had an appointment to see the doctor so i live in ontario canada so here we have something called a health card okay so a health card is a, is a medical card a medical insurance card uh, that allows me to see the doctor uh, for free uh, if i don't have my health card i can't see the doctor okay so let's say i drive all the way to the doctor and then I'm reaching in uh, to give the medical secretary my health card, but then I notice, oh, I, for, I, forget her, I forgot it at home. So I, I could say, uh-oh, I forgot it at home. So that's a bad surprise, okay? So again, so it's mm-mm, uh-uh, they mean no, casually, or uh-oh, to indicate a sudden realization of a bad uh, surprise. Okay, that's all for now. Keep practicing.